My name is Wes Baltazar. I'm now a firefighter recruit here with the Contra Costa Fire Protection District, and this is uh, week three of our recruit academy. I was with the city of Merced for a year and a half, um, up until the end of June when I was laid off. It's a difficult economic time, and we're seeing firefighters being laid off up and down the state. When I got my layoff notice, you know, there was a lot of other people in the department telling me that, uh, you know, it wasn't actually going to happen, so I was in disbelief for quite a while. And uh, the day that I actually turned my gear in, it all sunk in, and I felt really lost and in, in kind of a state of panic. In the early 90s, when base closures were really prevalent in California, legislation was developed and passed to create the displaced firefighter list. We, through subsequent legislative efforts, have been able to broaden its application in the face of these very difficult economic times to allow more firefighters that uh, are facing layoffs of termination to be added to the list so they can quickly relocate and get back on the job. As soon as layoffs started getting a little closer to uh, reality, the unions started talking about this displaced firefighter list and we f came to find out what it was. And at the same time, we came to find out um, certain organizations, that was what they were hiring off of. Our fire department had reached a critical staffing level where our guys were getting mandatory um, on a regular basis. So the chief and I began to talk about the possibility of using the displaced firefighter list. It's really a win-win situation for us. It's a good opportunity for them to get back to work and re-employed, and it's a good opportunity for us to get experienced firefighters that don't require the same amount of training that our new recruits do. Having the ability to put laid off firefighters on a displaced employment list is fantastic. Departments that worked with the list, there was no seeking it out. They would seek me out through the list and uh, I would give them a call and it was basically go straight to a chief's interview. This job isn't for everyone and the people that are on this list, ha on this list have obviously proven that you know they can do the job and, and they're qualified. It takes a while for a firefighter to get become a seasoned firefighter. So bringing people from agencies like Stockton and San Jose where their volume is a little higher than ours, we just saw that that would be beneficial. The people here that have been working for five to seven years in a busy, busy system, um, they're going to come to an organization who's hiring these people with a lot of experience. We were able to reduce the amount of training time uh, by 50 percent and turn them around and get them out in the field uh, a lot quicker, which again saves us money and also uh, allows us to increase our staffing levels in a very quick uh, manner. We have never seen layoffs like we're seeing now in the state of California, and this displaced firefighter list has truly been a lifeline for many firefighters who are losing their job. All of us have to stick together. We got to work together. You know, the, the times have changed, but if we all work together as union president, we can help each other out and uh, try to keep as many of us employed as possible. There's no guarantee you're going to get hired, but with that list, it was uh, a lot more uh, light at the end of the tunnel. It gives everybody, the employer and the employee, a, a sense of opportunity to hire some quality folks and to turn a terrible situation into something that's good. Without the list, I probably would not be here working in this fire department. It made the difference between collecting unemployment and working back in the job that I'm supposed to be working in.